all, welcome to another Gary Nader video. It's Art here with my one month review for my Kindle Scribe with Basic Pen. Uh, one thing I can tell you is I plan on getting the, uh, plan on getting titanium tips for my Pro Pen. I don't know if I'll get titanium tips for the Basic Pen, I probably will. Haven't decided that quite yet. And I also intend on getting an Oberon cover just like my other cases. I'm just waiting till October or November to get that done. If you guys hear any noise on the mic, it's because of my new Lasco fan that uh, those on stream knew I was going to get. It's been incredibly hot in here while filming, and I've got it on a low setting. So you guys may not even hear it, but I might do a review of it at some point because I love the sucker. But back to the Kindle. Uh, this thing is advertised as having a four plus week, four plus weeks of hours, four weeks plus of battery life. And I can tell you in my heavy, 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 heavy use of this device since receiving it on July 10th and charging it the first time out of the box. It lasted me a total of four weeks plus five and a half days before I plugged it in at 15%. It probably could have lasted me the whole fifth day, but I was like, hey, I got a film. I want to make sure this gets charged. And I'm going to do some heavy reading tonight because you guys know I'm reading some ARCs in galleys and I've been reading a ton on this. Now let me take you through a lot of the features I like about it and then we'll go through the drawbacks of the device and who I think the device is for. I'll give my final score of the device once I do my one year review but I'll give it I'll give a preliminary score at the end of this video and, and then once again at the end of the six month video. So we'll do preliminary scores. But I love that it has, let me see if you guys can see this. I love that it has a warm light to it, which makes it seeable. I love that it has a passcode to it, so all my documents are safe. I love the ease of the writing. I love the different styles of writing. You can do checklist, to-do list, bullet journal, uh, regular college rule notebook book paper. You can do planners. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. So the notebook feature and the writing feature is I think a, a blessing and it certainly helped me in my uh, taking notes for reviewing books. The size of the screen which is 10.2 inches basically the cover here covers all the screen now there is a hefty 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 bezel so they could probably squeeze about another inch of um, they could probably squeeze about another inch of um, screen size in there here I'll just do it this way um, I love that it it as of now of course as the years go by, battery and usage will go down and down and down. But uh, before now in the sixth month review, I will do a battery test. Let me grab it again. I will do a battery test that takes it all the way down to 5%. And we'll get a more accurate reading of how long it would last. But I can tell you it lasts a pretty damn long time. Even for my heavy hours upon hours of reading. You're talking about three to five hours of reading on the device minimum daily, usually around three to seven hours minimum daily because I've been spending a lot of time and usually when I get a galley, I, I spend a lot of time reading it as well. Sorry, I had to stretch my neck there. Um, but it was, it's a very, very top-notch device. It's a very, very good device. Um, who's it for? Well, first thing, another thing I like about it, too, is that it's USB-C charged base. This is one of the things I wonder about it. The bigger screen allows for more reading of real estate, so the pages are bigger, so it's less page touches 
towards um, less page touches before we go to um, the end of the chapter kind of thing, which is cool. And then we just have really, really, really amazing, amazing uh, font sizes. It's easier to read. It doesn't tire out my eyes like reading on the iPad does because it's e-ink, of course, just like all my other Kindles. Uh, this Kindle will not travel with me personally. I'm going to get a different Kindle uh, to travel with me for right now. My Oasis will, will be my travel Kindle. But I will be getting a new Kindle sometime in October or November, or I might even ask for one for Christmas. Um, probably the paper white is going to be my travel Kindle. Just because this one is a little bit too... Not really. It's thin, but it's just wide. And it's also expensive. I don't want to travel with this much of an expensive device. I'd rather travel with like a 130 or one. 40, not something that could be replaced in the 200-300 hour range. Because I try not to travel with my iPad too much either. So there you go. But... <sighs> the So the charge is awesome. It charges in about 2 hours from 15%. About 1, one hour 30, 30 to 40 minutes. From about 15% to 100, so I'm betting uh, about two hours from about about 5% all the way to 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 100, of course, to complete charge, which makes it awesome. One of the things I don't like about it, which I mentioned before, is um, let me see if I can show it to you. Here it is. I can show you without even opening it. Um, the charging cable is on the side, which I think is a flaw, uh, a major flaw in the design because it it is a spot where liquid could get in it very easily and conceivably you're reading and maybe you drink something too. Now you're going to be careful with it. I, I I know that, but it's certainly not a device for children. It uh, certainly needs to have a case on it, but it can't block the the case can't block the port because like this case doesn't block the port either but I wish that they had like port stoppers that were on it the scribe as far as I know is not waterproof I'm not going to test it I know the paper white is so that's where the paper white has its advantages but who do I think this could be for well it's definitely for me somebody that reviews books for um for this channel and for um, their current occupation as part of their current occupation um, and I think it could be for students because the ease of taking notes and writing notes and having unlimited paper and having one set um, to be done and the ease of emailing notes as a PDF to uh, your PC is easy it also translates to, uh, across all Kindle apps now thanks to an update so there are a lot of things good about the scribe um, like I said the, the major negative for me is the weight of it is a little bit it's a little bit more because that makes room for the USB-C and it has a little bit more girth to it um, also I'm surprised the device doesn't have a slot for the pen itself like, it doesn't have a um, slot for it. Yes, technically one side is magnetic, so it will magnetically stick to it. But if you, you know, with any kind of magnet, if you slightly bump it, you're, the pen's going to go rolling, and it's away from um, the device. But the one good thing is, unlike the Apple Pencil, the Kindle Paper, the Kindle Scribe Pen does not need to be charged. The pen tips need to be changed every so often because it comes with five extra pen tips and a tool to change the pen tips. And that's why I'm, I'm going to be getting titanium pen tips because I find out I found out titanium pen tips do not wear out. So that's why I'm, why I'm going to be getting those. But I, I love the device. I've used it a lot. It has become my main Kindle 
here in the house, and because I work from home, it is now my main Kindle. Um, it does sync up seamlessly with both my online with Amazon library and with my Kindle Oasis library as well. So it does that. <coughs> Excuse me. It does that quite quite nicely. Does that very much nicely. So, what's my preliminary score for the device? I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. I'm going to give it a range from 1 out of 10. I'm going to give it, personally for me, a 9 out of 10 so far. Like I said, the weight's a little bit different and the port being on the side instead of the bottom. Even on your phones, the port's on the bottom. Uh, on previous Kindles, the port's on the bottom. The port needs to be on the bottom for safety of the device. You don't want the device to be, um, to get suddenly flawed all of a sudden. And then there you, there you go. You've lost your device that you've spent your hard-earned money on. Now, yes, you can get a protection plan, but how many times... Will that protection plan protect you from accidental damage before they drop you? So that's my whole thing. I have been extra careful with it. It has traveled with me uh, outside quite a few times. It travels in my chair. I'm careful to put the side that I have to set it on where the port is not. It's that side down. The port side is always up when I put it in my chair. Because that's the way I feel can keep it the most safe. Also, the power button's right there, so anything could get gummed up. You can put that power button anywhere on the device. I don't like that there aren't buttons on the device, so screen fingerprints are going to be a thing. Um, but overall, the device is seamless. The device is fun. The device is enjoyable. It is the best version of a of an upscale Kindle that you can get. I still think the Kindle's uh, Paperwhite is the best bang for your bargain version of the Kindle, but for somebody who uses their Kindle a metric ton, I'm talking, I read on my Kindle a lot. Yes, I read physical books a lot. Yes, I listen to audiobooks a lot, but I read on my Kindle in an inordinate amount as well. And for somebody that does that, this Kindle and your top of the line Kindles are just what I aim for because I want all the bells and whistles with all the pluses and minuses that there come. Uh, when I get my travel Kindle, of course, we'll do a comparison video and a review video for that Kindle as well. But I love this Kindle. I'm glad I got it for my birthday. I use my Amazon gift cards for, that I got from people for my birthday for this. So it didn't come out of pocket for me. It was, uh, I used uh, birthday gift cards to get this. And this is the best birthday present that I could have asked for. I knew I wanted it. I love it. And quite frankly, after I, after I send this video up to YouTube, I'm going to read more on my scribe. So when we do the six month and the year, you know I'm going to be using it. Um... Uh, I'm going to be using it on the regular, heavy duty, just like I do any piece of tech that I use. It gets, it's going to get used heavy duty. It's going to get used top notch. It's going to be used like you wouldn't believe. And it's going to be nice to see, like, how's the six month battery life? How's the one year battery life? How's the two year battery life? How's the three year battery life? That's what we're going to find. Uh, that's what we're going to do with on this channel and I can't wait to see what happens but stay tuned right here now you know next week uh, as I said on the community post and I said on Twitter next week we're going to do the ARC book review week we're doing House of Glass and uh, Kathy Reich's Fire and Bones House of Glass by Sarah Pekanen and Kathy Reich's Fire and Bone Tempest Burn number 23 is going to be reviewed on the channel 
You'll find out Saturday which one's going to be Monday and which one's going to be Wednesday. I will leave that until then. But in the comments down below, you can ask me questions about the scribe and let me know if you intend on picking up a scribe. Ask me questions and I might do a uh, Kindle scribe Q&A video for you all. I, I would love to do that. I and I know that some of my uh, subscribers are going back to school. Maybe this is an, a better idea for you for your notebooks because it can carry your digital textbooks if you get them digitally and you can take notes on it. I certainly use it in that way when I'm reviewing books. So until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.